we will get to that. They are beginning to warm up in the background. Right to the semi-finals of the women's 60 metres. The fake. Molly Scott goes in one, the Irish woman. One in Ostrava. Left a 7.19 this season. She's in good form and looks relaxed. Lorraine Bazzolo, transfer from Congo, European semi-finalist a couple of years ago. She too is in high sevens. Four, Mary Beth St. Price, five wins already this year. She arrived here as the joint second fastest in the world this year. Now she begins to look tense. The favourite. She went tenth on the all-time list. The first woman to go sub seven in four years. Eva Svoboda, two runs away from a main world indoor title. Lotta Kempinen from Finland. Very close to her lifetime best in qualification for the semis. She has huge talent on her inside and outside. Here's Sharika Jackson. A wonderful 400-metre runner, stepping down in distance. Bronze last year for the Jamaican clean sweep. Took a gold in the 4x1. Antonique Straw, better known perhaps as a 2 and 400-metre runner now, former world junior champion. She's done well to qualify. Diana Weissman of Israel, she was in lane one for the heat and ran brilliantly, ignoring all that was going on outside her to make this one of the biggest occasions of her career. Scott Ireland in one, Bazzolo Portugal in two, some Price USA threes, Voboda Poland four, Kempen and Finland five, Jackson Jamaica six, Strawn Bahamas in seven, Weissman Israel in eight. This is the first of three semi-finals in the women's 60 meters only the first two are coming back for the final which will be the climax of our opening evening here in belgrade svoboda wearing white will be in lane four she's the favorite can she deliver oh dear oh dear oh dear Oof, i thought svoboda looked a little bit nervous there, and if she is feeling a few jingles, they will continue. Just being asked to stand up. These moments must be so hard for an athlete, Hannah. It's, it's so hard, the keeping your composure, anticipating everything you want to execute in the performance, getting there and then being told, hold, hold on five minutes, <laughs> well, that would be five minutes, hold on 20 seconds, you will do all that again, but you're right, Rob. So Bodhi looks like a lot tenser no than she did this morning. She looked pretty relaxed and pretty happy every time we saw her this morning. Well, I'm glad the card, the official has just waved his green because it's faulty rather than false. So once again, oh, Scott Ireland in one, Pozzolo Portugal two, some Price USA three, Svoboda Poland four, Kempen in Finland five, Jackson Jamaica six, Strawn Bahamas seven, Weissman Israel in eight. There is Svoboda in lane four, needs a place in the top two for a chance to finish this fabulous indoor season in which she has thus far been the dominant force. Set. This time they are clearly away, so Price got a good start. Svoboda now coming into a running as Jackson tries to come through on the far side. Svoboda is there. So Price may have taken the second spot, 7-0-3. Jackson was third in 7-0-8, so she'll have to wait and see. Well, if Eva Svoboda was nervous, that might settle her down a fraction. Unofficially, we got that as 7-0-3. She's done enough, and she'll get a good lane in the final. The moment of history for Poland is still on. That's a decade since you've had a European champion. I do think I do think she looks handsome. Hopefully that will settle her nerves. She came under a lot of pressure from both sides. It's a fantastic start from Kempen in the Finland. And Sam Price of the USA puts the road under pressure all the way to the line. But it was the world lead. With that fastest time in the year, Ina Svoboda of Poland took the victory in this first semi-final. Jackson 708. That's a PB 
for the almost veteran Jamaican. And that might be enough, you know, to go through as one of the non-automatic qualifiers, but there are two fabulous semi-finals still to come. That was really good from Svoboda, I thought. She's gone quicker than she did this morning. And if she was feeling nervous, that may well have, temporarily at least, settled her down a fraction. No Polish... Eva Svoboda marches into the final. So too, Mary Beth and Price, Sharika Jackson and Antonique Straw both have been follow the women's 3,000 metre final later on this evening. So we've got what we call the heat map. Svoboda lane four, fourth from the top. 35.3 kilometres an hour, hitting top four. So Price was just about dead level with her, give or take a couple of hundredths. Zolo not managing to maintain that intense level of speed right the way through to the end.